sixth grade, module four, lesson 12, classwork. Opening exercise. A, create a model to show two times five. So if I have two times five, that means I have two groups of five. So I'm gonna create two groups of five. Create a model to show two times B or two B. So that I'm gonna do the same thing, except this time instead of two fives, I have two Bs. Example one, write an expression that's equivalent to two times a plus b. Okay, so we're gonna do everything and then come back to write the expression at the end. So it says create a model to represent a plus b. So if I have a plus b, I'd have a and b. So this model represents a plus b. The expression, 2 times a plus b tells us that we have two of the a plus b's. Create a model that shows two groups of a plus b. So I'm just going to double that. So I'll have a and b, one group of it. And then I'm going to have another group of a and b. So that's also a plus b. How many A's and how many B's do you see in the diagram? So in this diagram, I see one, two A's and one, two B's. So I see two A's and two B's. How would the model look if we grouped together the A's and then grouped together the B's? So instead of doing A plus B plus A plus B, we can just do the two A's together and then do the two Bs together. So we could have A and B, so that's equivalent. What expression could we write to represent the new diagram? So in this new diagram, I have two A plus two B. What conclusion can we draw from the models about the equivalent expressions? So what we found was that the first model, which was two times A plus B is equal to two A plus two B. So we can say that 2a plus b is equal to 2a plus 2b. Let a equal 3 and b equal 4. So let's solve it with each of these expressions to make sure that we get the same thing. So if I have 2a plus b and I'm using 3 and 4, 2 times 3 plus 4, I would have 2 times 7, and that's equal to 14. So let's do it the other way, 2a plus 2b, or 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4, I have 6 plus 14, or sorry, 2 times 4 doesn't equal 14, it equals 8, and 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. What happens when we double a plus b? So when we double a plus b, we double a and we double b. Double both A and B. All right, example two. Write an expression that's equivalent to double 3x plus 4y. Okay, so let's start with how can we rewrite 3x plus 4y? So doubling is the same as multiplying by 2. So double means multiply by 2. So we could do 2 times 3x plus 4y. Um, we could also do, if we wanted to expand it out, we could do 2 times 3x would be 6x plus 2 times 4y would be 8y. So those should be equal. 2 times 3x plus 4y is equal to 6x plus 8y. Is this expression in factored form, expanded form, or neither? Well, we wrote two different expressions. So the first one is in factored form because we factored out this 2, so it's in factored form. So let's say the first one is in factored form.
And the second, we expand it out so it's in expanded form. Let's start this problem the same way that we started the first example. What should we do? So we're going to make a model. So let's say make a model. And what was the first thing they gave us of 3x plus 4y? So just make something like this. And we have 3x, 4y. And then how can we change it to show 2 times 3x plus 4y? So I'm just going to make one big model. And now I'm going to have two of it. So 3x, 4y. So that's 3x plus 4y. And then another group of it. So now we have two groups of it. So to answer the question, make two copies of the model, or two groups. Are there terms that we can combine in this example? So we could combine the um, x's and the y's. So instead of having 3x and then 4y and then 3x and 4y, we can put the x's together and put the y's together. We have 3x and 3x and 4y and 4y. So that would show us that we have 6x and that is 8y. So then what's an equivalent expression so that we could represent 2x, 2 times 3x plus 8, 4y. So we have 6x's and 8y's. So 2 times 3x plus 4y is equal to 6x plus 8y. Summarize how would you solve how you would solve this question without the model. So kind of how we did it in the beginning. When there's a number outside the parentheses, you can distribute it to what is inside. So multiply the number outside the parentheses. by the terms on the inside. Example three, write an expression in expanded form that's equivalent to the model below. So we have y by four x plus five. So if we wanna find, I'm assuming we wanna find the area of this, to find area we do length times width. So I would say y times 4x plus 5. And 4x plus 5 is going to be in parentheses because we want those to stay grouped together since they are together on the same side. And we don't need that parenthesis, this multiplication sign. You can just do y times 4x plus 5. How can we rewrite this expression in expanded form? So if we wanted to expand it out, we can multiply the y by 4x and the y times 5. So 4x times y would be 4xy, since we don't know what x or y is, we just leave them the same, leave them alone, plus y times 5 would be 5y. So we have 4xy plus 5y. Example 4. Write an expression in expanded form that's equivalent to 3 times 7d plus e. So we're going to distribute the 3 to the 7d and the 4e. So 3 times 7 would be 21d plus 3 times 4e would be 12e. So I have 21d plus 12e. 
exercises. Create a model for each expression below, then write another equivalent expression using the distributive property. Okay, so we need to model it and then write an expression. So we have 3x plus y. We have three groups of x plus y. So first I'm going to split it into three. And I'm going to make x, y, x, y, and x, y. So there's x plus y, plus another x plus y, plus another x plus y. So three groups of x plus y. If we wanted to combine terms, we can change this. So we have 1, 2, 3 three x's, so I'm going to have three x's, and then we have one, two, three y's. So when we combine them, we have three x and we have three y. So we can make it into three x plus three y. And that is in um, expanded form. 4 times 2h plus g. So I'm going to draw four groups of 2h plus g. We'll split it into four first. So 2h plus g, 2h plus g, 2h plus g, and 2h plus g. Let's just label what we have. Make sure that there are four of them. So then if I wanted to combine the H's and the G's, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, two H's. And then one, whoops, let's redraw that real fast. So then we have one, two, three, four G's, which adds up to eight H's and four G's. So we'd have eight H plus four G. So now let's do it without the models. We're just gonna write them in expanded form. Apply the distributive property to write equivalent expressions in expanded form. So eight H plus three. So we're gonna multiply eight by H. So we'd have eight H plus eight times three is 24. Three times two H plus seven. So distribute the 3 to the 2h, so we'll have 6h plus 3 times 7 is 21. So 6h plus 21. 5 times 3x plus 9y. So 5 times 3x is 15x plus 5 times 9y would be 45y. 15x plus 45y. 4 times 11h would be 44h plus 4 times 3g would be 12 G. So we have 7k plus 12m up here times j because we want to multiply that by j to find the area of this. So if we were to expand that, we're going to multiply j by 7k. So we'd have 7kj or 7jk, whatever, either order plus j times 12m, 12mj, or 12jm. a times 9b plus 13. So a times 9b would be 9ba or 9ab. a times 13 would be 13a. But that is the end.